Hey everyone, this is Ashwara and welcome to Beauty with Cool. So guys, I always try to answer all your questions. That too honestly, isn't it? But now in this video, I want to ask you all a question and I'm expecting you all to answer this question honestly. And yes, guys, I'm expecting many interesting answers. So yes, I'll ask you a question. After that, you just need to pause the video, answer in comment section and after that continue to watch. Because I know you all are very smart. You will watch this video till the end and after that you will have the answer. So it will be unfair, isn't it? So please answer honestly to my question. And the question is why do you want to write gate exam? So yes, I'm expecting many interesting answers and it's not just I'm expecting answers. Apart from that, I am expecting 75 likes on this video and I have a family of more than 1600 members so, so for someone like me who has family of more than 1600 members 75 is a very small number isn't it so i can isn't it and i'm talking about a gate exam in this video and like our country produce around uh, like 14 to 15 lakh engineers every day so yes and gate exam is one of the most popular exam among btech graduates isn't it or engineering graduate i should say so yes I can expect 75 likes at least and I'm sure I'll get that. So without wasting any time, let's get started with today's video. But before that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it. And after watching, if you find this video helpful, make sure you share this video with your friends because trust me, guys, I can bet more than 80% people do not know why they want to write gate exam. It's just like my friend is writing, that's why I will. My college is forcing, that's why I will. Or like someone is like for higher studies. So it's not like higher studies is not an option, but it's not the only option. So many other options are there. Like many other benefits are there for which you can get from gate exam. So it's not just higher studies. So, okay, don't worry. We'll look for all the options in this video. So let's get started with today's video. So that option number one or the benefit number one from gate exam is nothing but higher studies. Okay, so benefit number one and this is the most common, isn't it? So it's not just about MTech. So it is MTech, MS, PhD and Masters plus PhD integrated program. So four type of courses are offered. So for MTech, you need to spend two years of your life. For MS, you need to spend two to three years of your life. For PhD, you uh, like it's a five to seven years program, isn't it? And for masters plus PhD, five to seven years plus two years for masters. So yes, you you can understand these things. Okay. So now you may ask about the difference between uh, MTech and MS, isn't it? So yes, the only difference is MTech and MS both are master program. That is okay. But the only difference is MTEC is more theory oriented and MS is more research oriented. So this is the basic difference. Okay, so for theoretical, you, you can go for MTEC and for, mas uh, for, for sorry, masters in science, that is MS, which is based on research. You can go for MS. Now you may ask which is more beneficial. So yes, MS is more beneficial since it is more research oriented. And now you you may think that for MS you have to go to foreign countries. So it's not like that. Yes, in foreign countries you can get master uh, masters in science, but in India, Bits Pilani do offer MS. So from Bits Pilani you can get okay. And MTech yes you can go for MTech from like private colleges or other things. It's okay, but you can get into IITs, NITs triple IITs or IISC. So if you are someone who wanted to get into IIT after 12th class and couldn't make it through JE, they will get one more chance to get into IITs through gate exam. Okay, so yes, this is going to be beneficial. Number one and number two, you will get stipend and stipend will be of 12,400 rupees per month. So you will get stipend of 12,400 per month. Why stipend? because you will be teaching assistant there so if you don't know about teaching assistant then you you have you will have to take labs as well as tutorial classes so it is not going to be proper lectures but yes 
labs and tutorial classes will be there okay so you have to take lab classes of btech students okay or like tutorial classes so yes teaching assistant so it's not like you will only get uh, like uh, um, stipend because you are teaching assistant you will also get experience so if you are someone who want to get into teaching field after mtech or after masters then you can imagine two years of experience you will have while you are studying isn't it so yes this is going to give some extra benefit isn't it so it's about higher studies now let's move to second option and that is something which excite we indians a lot and that is nothing but psus so all like uh, our parents are always like go for sarkari naukri be sarkari officer so uh, these are like very middle class kind of uh, aim isn't it so everyone want to get into sarkari naukri isn't it so yes for government sector like for uh, not for government for psus psus are not complete government but yes these are public sector units okay so these are kind of undertaking but these are very good okay so yes everyone dream of like uh, getting into psus so if you don't know about psus then yes you can definitely do uh, some research so i can name some companies so these are sail ntpc ongc okay so i hope you all understood so who doesn't want to get into psus but for psus uh, like uh, your uh, rank should lie between 1 and 100 for most of the psus for some uh, psus your rank may uh, lie around 500 okay for some psu only so it may lie around 500 okay but after that no chance so psu is a bit difficult but yes it is an option it is kind of benefit so if you prepare well you can get into psus third option or like uh, third benefit from gate exam this is going to be isro or drdo so it's not like drdo or isro directly higher from uh, gate exam no it's not like that and yes they do but it's not the only option or only way i can say okay so the uh, so like drdo or isro do have their separate exams but sometimes they higher from gate exam so if your score is very good after that they will call you for interview and after multiple interviews you can get into isro you can get into drdo and other psus too so yes i forgot to mention in second point that's why i added here okay so yes and let's say if they are not hiring through gate exam i'm talking about drdo and isro okay so if drdo and isro are not hiring through gate uh, like on that particular year then it's okay you can write their exam so the exam which they conduct and like syllabus is almost same so you don't need to specially prepare for drdo or isro so if you are prepared well for gate exam it means you are prepared for drdo you are prepared for isro you are prepared for ntpc so yes you are prepared for uh, like companies like them okay so yes like syllabus is almost same more or less same okay so yes the uh, this is option number 3 now move to option number 4 so option number 4 is you will have in depth knowledge of core subject so let's say you prepared well for um like gate okay so you are preparing for gate and now you want to sit for campus too so uh, like you are someone who is confused who is like if i'll get a good package then i'll go to the corporate or uh, otherwise i'll go for higher studies if you are uh, like someone like that and most of the students are like that only isn't it then also i'll re uh, i'll request you all to prepare for gate exam why because let's see let's say uh, like if you want to uh, if uh, corporate is one option for you then you will be very good in uh, very good in coding you will have uh, like so sound knowledge of aptitude but if you are preparing for gate you will have in depth knowledge of core subjects then you don't need to worry about technical interviews okay so you don't need to actually worry about technical interviews because no matter what the company is it may be product based it may be um like uh, what we call service based no matter what so they ask questions from data structure algorithm dbms etc isn't it so they ask questions from these subjects these core subjects only 
isn't it so in their technical interview so if you are preparing for gate exam then you will have in depth knowledge of these subject and you can you can easily crack those interview isn't it so your confidence will be boosted up isn't it so that's why i request you all to please 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 prepare for gate exam at least and let's say you are in iits after like uh, after writing gate exam you scored well and you got uh, you, you some you uh, got iits or like nits then product based companies will approach you isn't it so it's not like you you have to approach them so if you are someone uh, who did btech from uh, tier 3 college or tier 4 college then uh, like to be very honest product based companies do not visit those colleges generally some rare cases i'm not talking about but generally these uh, do not visit tier 3 or tier 4 colleges isn't it so if you are from tier 3 or tier 4 colleges during your btech days and now you are in iits then after 2 years you will get into product based companies very easily isn't it because they do visit iits they do visit nits triple iits iisc bits pilani isn't it so yes this was point number 5 i guess and the last point is let's say you wrote gate exam you some uh, you kind of crossed the cut off you just qualified and your rank is not decent enough to uh, like uh, get you into iits or nits and you don't want to go for any private college and now you are trying to get into corporate so if in your resume if you mention that you are gate uh, qualified you are just gate qualified if you mentioned that then this will give extra benefit to it or if it will add something to it why i am saying this see yes uh, if you ask about cut off of gate exam so it's not uh, like it's fixed it varies every year that is for sure but the thing is it lies somewhere between 25 and 30 so average is somewhere between 25 and 30 okay so yes you may think scoring 25% or like 30% uh, to, uh, to be more precise so scoring 30% is not a big deal isn't it so yet yes it's very easy when it comes to uh, board exams or when it comes to semester exams but like uh, only 14 to 15% students can qualify gate so only 14 to 15 students 15% students sorry so only 14 to 15% students can get something more than 30 30 or above percent okay so only 14 to 15 percent now you can think the level of gate exam isn't it so it's not like i'm scaring you no 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 it's not like that okay so the thing is gate is easy but don't take it easy so start preparing as soon as possible and like you all know the benefits by now isn't it so yes on this note i'm wrapping up this video so stay healthy stay fit love you all this is ashwara signing off bye bye